Welcome back to the Uranium Fever channel. Today's Fallout 76 tutorial is all about making custom fireplaces, featuring designs showcased in our videos as well as some new additions. We will be going through some really useful tricks and techniques to help you decorate and merge other items into your creations. This video is part one of a three episode series based entirely on fireplaces, with the future videos focusing on some more advanced designs. Let's get started. Creating these custom fireplaces requires a number of different tricks that vary for each design. We use the Hunting Lodge fireplace as the centerpiece for these throughout, but in a lot of instances, the items we chose to decorate with are easily interchangeable. Let's start off by getting set up. Switch the walls behind the fireplaces to doors. It will be easier later if we need to poke anything through. Set down a pressure plate and have your camp module close by. Highlighting the pressure plate compresses it, ready for us to use. Finally, use a flamethrower trap to destroy the fireplaces. Now, let's kick things off with how to decorate the mantle. Start by setting down a blue Vault-Tec mat before placing the potted row of succulents just above the centre of the Vault-Tec logo. I recommend using this rug as the design makes it easy to line objects up. Now, placing some wine bottle candles and some more succulents to finish off the composition. Once you have finished, grab hold of the mat to bring it over to your camp module, placing it across the front. Grabbing hold of the mat again repeatedly raises the object. Doing this 14 times should raise it high enough to place on the mantle. Bring the mat over to the destroyed fireplace and position it so the objects are just touching the outside edge. This mat is also great to use for this, as it nicely fits in the fireplace without being seen. Repair the fireplace once you are happy with the positioning. A final touch was adding a clock to sit with the objects. Now let's look at how you can have a shotgun resting on the mantle. Build a wall out of green footlockers. The aim is to have it high enough to attach a weapon mount. We will be using this weapon rack because only the horseshoes will poke through the wall once we place this in the fireplace. Selecting the mount, we will move it until it goes green on our wall of footlockers. The mount is actually only attached to one of these footlockers, so by process of elimination we will remove the excess. Now that's done, we repeat the process from the first trick by raising up the mount using our module. This time, we'll position ourselves behind and off to the side, so it's easier to select the footlocker. Finishing up with that, we check to see if the rack is at the right height. It isn't, and it needs to come down a bit, so taking it over to the pressure plate allows us to bring it down. Once we are happy with the height, let's add a shotgun to the weapon rack. Bring it over again, we wait till it goes green to place it correctly. Repair the fireplace and as you can see, the shotgun appears to be resting on the mantle. To finish off the decorating, we add two more weapon displays and a dartboard on top of those before adding a Nixie tube light above. Switch back the door to a wall and you are done. Adding a wooden stove to the fireplace is up next. Start by placing the fireplace on top of a spring trap. Use the bottom spring trap in the build menu for this, as when it breaks, it won't be as easy to see. 
Bring the spring trap over to the pressure plate. You'll need to move the trap around on the pressure plate for it to go green. Drop it until the bottom of the fireplace is flush even with the bottom of the trap. Now place it in position and switch out the wall for a glass wall. Breaking these destroys all the inside, making it easy to place objects through. Activate the spring trap to make the fireplace disappear. Place down a wooden stove where the fireplace was. We wanted it to be over the top of the fire, and repairing the spring trap brings back the fireplace. You can activate the trap again until you are happy with the placement. Finally, let's look at creating a creepy fireplace using gravestones. Using our trusty blue mat, we have the items ready. This time, however, we're going to drop most of the items through the fireplace. Place the mat on top of the fireplace and adjust the items until they are closer to the front. We want them to poke through enough while the mat will stay hidden. Now drop merge until the gravestone reaches the mantle. Placing the fireplace in position and destroying it will allow us to add some extra features. Using the spring traps from the previous trick, we are going to use them again to temporarily hide our fireplace, allowing us to put additional items inside. Move it back once the trap is lined up with the fireplace and activate it. Drop merge a cooking pot into the Camden Park stove. Place a small conduit on the ground first before placing the stove on top of that. This allows us to move it freely and place atop the Camden Park stove. Once we are happy with it, let's take it over to the pressure plate. Now switch the back wall to glass and destroy it. Bring the stove over to where the fireplace will be and set it down. You will probably need to play around with the placement here to get it just right. The Camden Park stove has a pile of logs on the side that will look nice poking through our fireplace. Placement is good with the stove, and to the side we can see some wooden logs poking through. Repair the glass walls and then switch them back to finish. We've finished with these tricks, so let's see what's coming up in the next videos. In our next fireplace video, we'll be showcasing this more advanced composition. Featuring a television and a larger column, this fireplace could easily be a feature in a cabin or modern build. Finally, our third fireplace tutorial will showcase this medieval fireplace, featuring a custom flag, suits of armour and even a secret door.
For today though, that is it. I hope you found this tutorial useful and we will look forward to releasing the next few videos in this mini-series. Huge thank you to all our subscribers. If you are new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. We post camp builds weekly and have lots of build tutorials on the way. If you like this particular video, then why not drop a like on it as well. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next one.